Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we're going to be talking about farts, why they're good for you and how you can enjoy them. We're not going to put juvenile fart sounds all over this, are we? Promise me we're not going to do that. Farting's all well and good when you're on the sofa with a mate. But they're slightly less fine if you're, say, on a romantic first date. Everyone farts, on average, between 5 and 15 times a day. And crucially, women fart just as much as men do. Although, admittedly, men are more likely to consider letting one rip on the buttock bassoon a competitive sport. Farting is an essential part of any healthy lifestyle. You can't stop doing it, but you can start enjoying it. So where does this gas come from? Well, we all know about baked beans and Brussels sprouts, but in fact, there's a whole range of foods that are likely to give you a back-end blowout. And the one thing about all these foods that make you toot is they're all extremely good for you. And that's because they contain complex, indigestible carbohydrates that you can't break down, but which the bacteria that live in your large bowel can. They release molecules which are beneficial for your heart and your circulation, and they also help you poo. And that means you're not constipated and it lowers your chance of getting colon cancer. As well as the gases from your food, some of the gas in your fart is made up of gas from fizzy drinks if you drink a lot of them, and some of it is air that you've swallowed, either because you smoke, or because you chew gum, or because you eat too fast. Some foods can increase the smelliness of your farts. Things like broccoli, cabbage, and onions all have molecules containing sulfur in them, which tends to make your booty belches on the smellier end of the spectrum. Women's farts smell worse than men's farts, and this has been proven unequivocally, scientifically, in a study of 16 people. So I think we can close the book on that chapter of scientific research. Now, farts smell not because they're made up of particles of poo, they're not, but because they contain mainly three classes of very smelly molecules. Fatty acids, things like butyric acid, which is the same thing that makes Parmesan cheese smell of vomit. The next is sulfur-containing compounds, things like hydrogen sulfide. That's the one that smells of rotten eggs. And the third group is nitrogen-containing molecules called indoles. And at high doses, these smell, well, like poo. And at low doses, these can have a pleasant floral smell, which is why when you're on your own, if you do a small fart, you can really get into it and quite enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we all enjoy, everyone, enjo everyone enjoys the smell of their own farts. So is there a way of farting less? Well, yes, there is, in fact. You could eat a diet of nothing but refined sugar, though I'm not sure I'd recommend that. Farting is a sign of good health. Your body's healthy, your digestive tract's healthy, your diet is good. And remember, every time you fart, without defecating at the same time, that is a testament to the miracle of the human anus. And you may not be able to do it for long. As my father says, once you're north of 75, you can never trust a fart. So enjoy it while you still can. You can tell us your own hilarious fart stories in the comments section below. We'll all have a good laugh about them. And then subscribe to BritLab.